respected Sri Pranab Mukherjee, Mr. Anand Sharma, Mr. Kamal Nath, awardees, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to welcome you to this extraordinary edition of ET Awards for Corporate Excellence. Looking back at the presidents covered, particularly the past decade, it helps us draw inspiration to forge ahead. We believe limitless possibilities lie ahead for India. The year that went by put to test the partnership of the government and corporate India. Many of us have never witnessed such global upheaval. If it wasn't for the timely measures adopted by the government and the corporate sector, the fallout of the economic downturn could have been worse. Some believe that the economic downturn at the global level was the worst since the Great Depression. What is credible is that in the last two years, despite a fall in our growth rate, India consolidated its global status. To my mind, the temporary fall in our growth rate is merely a speed breaker on the highway. It's now beyond doubt that India is one of the fastest growing economies in the world, taking its rightful place in the global groups like the G20. If India continues on its current growth trajectory, it would be no exaggeration if one were to say that by 2020, India may well be the eighth largest economy in the world and hopefully beat China as the fastest growing economy. As regards today's celebration, there's something distinct and special about our winners this year. They have emerged triumphant during one of the worst storms that hit the global economy. We salute the winners, for they have demonstrated that even in adversity, it's possible to excel. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to excel, we have to take the other India along with us, the one that lives in the villages. The philosophy of inclusive growth is receiving far greater attention. It is an imperative that will increasingly shape how we do business in India. I believe that in the next decade, the political class will be judged by the electorate in far broader terms, in terms of how they actually deliver necessities of life to the common man. There is a growing consensus in many quarters that several burning socio-economic issues have a lot to do with economic inequality. We at the Times Group are proud that initiatives like Teach India, the power of ideas, and even the ET Award for Corporate Citizen in a way nurture the green shoots. And in not so distant future will pave the way for a far more equitable society. Along with promoting these grassroots initiatives, we sometimes need to take a top-down approach. It's in this context we have invited the guru of corporate gurus to address this August audience on the boards of tomorrow. I formally welcome Mr. Ram Charan. As we move into the second decade of the 21st century, Indian business will continue to rise to the challenge of growth with a heart, growth with a conscience, let us dedicate this edition of ET Awards to that ideal of growth with a conscience. With this, I welcome you to the biggest celebration of Indian business. Thank you.